You can't deny the fact that Jennifer Lopez has cemented her position as one of the world's most successful actresses and singers. But when you look at how she got to the top, you can't help but question the legitimacy of JLo's success. Between her appropriation of black female vocals and her questionable performance choices, something about this woman just doesn't feel right. In this video, we'll get to the bottom of Jennifer Lopez's sneaky ways by taking a quick look at her natal chart. Jennifer is a Leo son, so she's naturally very creative, energetic, charismatic, and very comfortable in the spotlight and on a stage. Leo is the sign associated with performance arts, so having prominent Leo energy in a chart can push someone towards an acting career or anything pertaining to the entertainment industry where they're able to showcase their personality since Leo is the sign of creative expression, fun, and pleasure. Jennifer's Leo son is forming a trend to her Sagittarius Mars, which makes her a go-getter, a risk-taker. It also reinforces her being energetic, especially since that Sun-Mars trine is happening in fire signs, so Jennifer is definitely a good performer. This trine can also point to Jennifer taking good care of her body, and Leo is actually one of the signs that are associated with youth, so Jennifer being a Leo's son can make her age slowly, especially with her Mercury being conjunct to her son, since Mercury also deals with youth. Mercury is also the planet of health and daily routines, so that Sun-Mercury conjunction can also add to Jennifer's health consciousness. And this is further reinforced by her Sun forming a trine to her Moon, so she clearly makes self-nurturing a priority in her life. Jennifer's Sun trining her Moon can also suggest a high potential for success, and she actually has a lot of success indicators in her chart. Her Jupiter and her Uranus are conjunct in the sign of Libra, and forming a sextile to her sun, her moon, her mercury, and her mars, and this can bring a lot of sudden opportunities and blessings into someone's life. Libra is the sign of other people, so JLo has a very strong network of people helping her and protecting her along the way. This aspect can also make her very controversial and provocative, especially with her appearance and her opinions. Jennifer's Leo sun is trending her Neptune, which can also imply an interest and a talent in creative fields. So all of these harmonious aspects can make Jennifer were very lucky and fortunate, but on the other hand, it can make things a little bit too easy for her. She might receive too much external help to the point where she can't really do anything on her own. Jennifer's son is squaring her Taurus Saturn, and this can point to her being unable to sing, since Taurus specifically rules the voice and the vocal cords, and Saturn delays and restricts, so she might be feeling very insecure about her voice, and she might have to work twice as hard in order to become at the very least least an average singer because she doesn't have a proper musical foundation she can rely on. She doesn't have that natural singing ability. Her creativity could also be a little bit restricted and she might also suffer from low self-esteem and rely on superficial stuff in order to feel good about herself. Leo individuals, especially those who aren't fully evolved, can be very shallow, vain, attention-seeking and they tend to operate from a place of insecurity. Also keep in mind that Leo is the sign of acting, so this can turn into a tendency to appear a certain way on the outside but being empty on the inside. Dark-sided Leos can also be very elitist, egotistic, they can look down on people, and Jennifer has a long history of making very disrespectful remarks about other actresses like Gwyneth Paltrow, Salma Hayek, and Winona Ryder. She's also been rude towards assistants and employees, and this can be represented by that Sun-Mercury conjunction since Mercury rules subordinates. And in that conjunction, the sun is the stronger planet since it's in its home sign of Leo, so it overpowers Mercury and this can manifest as someone with a big ego and who's condescending towards their employees. I don't have Jennifer's birth time, so she could either be a late degree Scorpio moon or an early degree Sagittarius moon, and I think arguments can be made for both placements. Jennifer being a Scorpio moon could reinforce her being too reliant on other people's assets and talents, especially with her moon being conjunct to her Neptune. Neptune is the planet of theft and stealing, so when it's conjunct to the moon, which represents women in general, it can point to JLo stealing from women. Scorpio is also the sign of death, more specifically the possessions of dead people, so you can interpret this moon-Neptune conjunction as Jennifer relying on leftover material or songs that were rejected by other 
through artists or even relying on ghost writers since Neptune can also deal with ghosts and spirits. Jennifer's Scorpio Moon can also reinforce her negative Leo traits. She can be very jealous, vengeful, calculating, and sneaky, and power hungry. She can be the type of person who will shamelessly step on anyone and sacrifice her morals to get to the top. And depending on her birth time, her moon could also be conjunct her Mars, and this can make her extremely reactive and extremely combative, especially towards women. Her moon being conjunct her Neptune and her Mars, depending on her birth time, can also give her this very dreamy feminine silhouette since Neptune represents illusions and fantasies and a lot of people have been speculating on whether JLo has had surgery in the past and although she has denied those surgery claims, her moon being conjunct to her Neptune can make her a delusional liar and someone who tends to conceal things from the world and Scorpio is the sign associated with surgeries and drastic transformations. She also has Scorpio's ruler, Mars, possibly conjunct to her moon, so this makes me side-eye JLo a little bit, but let's just move on. So Jennifer's moon could be in Scorpio, but it could also be in Sagittarius, and this would make her very outspoken, opinionated, determined to speak her truth. She can also be very narrow-minded and unapologetic and shameless about her beliefs, like in her head, she can never be wrong. And her moon is trining her Leo sun and Mercury, so JLo has no problem telling people how she feels no matter how offensive she gets. She can have difficulties with respecting limits and boundaries, and with Neptune being conjunct to her moon, this can translate it into her being a culture vulture, her appropriating cultures that aren't her own, aka black girl culture, without giving proper credit, her being racially insensitive, and her being involved in cultural scandals. And when you add her Sagittarius Mars in the mix, it can make people very frustrated with her and ready to go off on her. Another interesting thing I wanted to bring up is that Sagittarius rules thighs and booty. So JLo being a Sag moon could make sense, especially with her Mars also in Sagittarius because she's literally known for having a big derriere. She even recorded a song about it with Iggy Z so let me know in the comments below if you think JLo is a Scorpio moon or a Sagittarius moon. Jennifer is a Gemini Venus, which can reinforce her tendency to go from one style to another because she doesn't have her own distinct personality, so she's constantly chasing the latest trends. She can also be very witty and good with her words, and with that score to Pluto, she can use that to manipulate other people and live off their work, and that square actually supports everything I said earlier about her having to rely on other people's talents, so she is a full-fledged cop. Cat. I notice this overarching theme of JLo borrowing from people very often, especially with her Venus squaring her nodes. In this lifetime, she really needs to develop her self-esteem and her own artistry and stop being so lazy and dependent on other people. JLo has her Chiron in Aries, opposing her Libra, Jupiter, and Uranus, which is another indicator of her lack of individuality and her need to copy other people because it's easier for her. Her Chiron is forming a trine to her sun, her moon, her Mercury and her Mars, and this can make her try to overcompensate by being overly boisterous and overly cocky in order to conceal her insecurities. Jennifer is a Virgo South Node, and her Pluto is conjunct to her South Node. This can reinforce her being oppressive towards her employees, since Virgo deals with the work environment, and she also likes to micromanage things, and she's never satisfied. She can be very harsh, critical, and judgmental towards others, but also towards herself, and this also reinforces the this overarching theme of constant transformation, theft, and sketchy workplace practices. With her Pisces North Node, JLo needs to spend more time soul searching, cultivating her own imagination and her own creativity, and have a more compassionate approach when dealing with people. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to press the thumbs up button below and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.